If you have a home with a crawl space, I would highly suggest you watching this video. We're going to go over some pests that you need to be aware of that can potentially infest your crawl space. We're going to go over mold and fungus problems. We're going to go over moisture problems. I'm going to show you exactly what I look for as a pest control professional and what I recommend to customers when I'm underneath their houses. And finally, I'm going to give you some recommendations on what you can do to maintain a healthy crawl space. So before we get started, let me just define a crawl space really quick. A crawl space, it's a blanketed term for just anything you have to crawl inside, but to use crawl space as the area underneath the house. Some people say they have an attic crawl space that you have to crawl inside the attic, but this is just the foundation type of your home. If it's a crawl space, that means that there is a exterior brick, block, concrete, stone foundation with a void underneath the first layer. So right here, this is the first floor of the customer's house. And as you may guess, a lot of times you have to crawl. Luckily, I thought this was the perfect spot because they have this like, I'll kind of show you just, just a concrete area. But this is actually nice because I can be in a crawl space without crawling. Why do builders make crawl spaces? For one, it is cheaper than a basement or a concrete slab. One of the benefits is that everything is accessible fairly easily. If a pipe breaks, a service person can crawl into the house and access it better than if the pipes are going down into the ground, you're gonna have to dig it up on like a traditional concrete slab. Some of the downfalls of a crawl space is what we're going to talk about in today's video is that frankly, there's a lot of stuff you have to maintain inside your crawl space. So that's what we're going to talk about today and hopefully you get a lot of information from today's video. I'm going to talk about three things, uh, pests, mold and fungus, and moisture. So here's the pest I look for in crawl spaces. Number one is termites. Termites come from the soil, they build tubes. If you have termites in your house, there's a very high likelihood that they've entered through the crawl space or a void around the foundation. So I'm always looking for termite activity. When my company does a termite treatment, we use a product called Taurus SC. We inject it into the soil around the exterior perimeter and also inside the crawl space. Taurus SC, it kills off the colony. It's an amazing product. Secondly, guys, mice and rats. I can't tell you how many times a customer has called me about mice or rats and I crawl in the crawl space, see the nest, see the activity, bait the rats, trap the mice, and it's gone like that. So if you have a mice, or rat problem, go ahead and peek in your crawl space or hire someone to peek in your crawl space because I can almost guarantee you this house doesn't have insulation but the mice love getting up in the insulation and the rats love burrowing in the ground. This is actually what I was doing at this customer's house. They had rats, spiders, wasps, just general bugs. As you can see, probably you can see there are just spider webs absolutely everywhere, cobwebs. There are so many things you can do as a pest control professional to sell jobs to clients when you're in the crawl space. Like sometimes I'll upsell like a crawl space dust or fog. And I wanted to show you guys, this is really, really cool. This is a subterranean yellow jacket nest. It's like the first day of March. So it's definitely, oh shit, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> this is some pump just turned on. Yeah, crawl spaces are a little creepy too. But anyways, yeah, subterranean yellow jacket nest. Like I definitely told the customer about this. It's not active right now, but really, really crazy <laughs> to see this in a crawl space. And the customer is lucky. I mean, this house is older. There's voids. But yeah, there's always pests, ants, termites, mice, spiders, wasps, centipedes, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff in a crawl space. So sometimes I'll fog it. Sometimes I'll get down here with my sprayer and spray the crawl space, but it's a dirty job. So if I am doing a, a true, like really thorough crawl space treatment, then I, I do charge the customer accordingly. Mold and fungus is a really big one. I don't go inside many crawl spaces that don't have some kind of mold or fungus. I mean, you can just open the crawl space door and you'll smell the the musty smell that that's just the mold particles or the fungus particles there are a lot of things you can do to prevent mold and fungus inside your crawl space you can treat the wood with like a borate product you can install a plastic vapor barrier which this customer has one it's not super great you need vents around your crawl space guys you know the the vents i'll show you a picture of one the ground just releases moisture all the time so putting a plastic vapor barrier down holds the moisture in the ground it makes my job less dirty sometimes it's just like those tiny tiny fungus spores or sometimes the mold can be just like 
really black and like really, really bad. Like I've seen actual mushrooms like coming out of someone's crawl space because they had such bad moisture problems. Even though crawl space is supposed to be sealed, the fungus spores, they can get into your house. So it's important to have a dry and mold and fungus free crawl space. Going off mold and fungus, the next topic I wanted to talk about was just moisture in general. You saw this customer has a sump pump. A sump pump is just when excess water starts to pile up in the low spots of the crawl space. And then a pump sucks up the water and it pushes it out of the crawl space. Uh, that's what that green hose is. That pushes the water out of the crawl space and that black machine, that's just the pump. So whenever the water gets to a certain level, the pump kicks on, it's plugged into an electrical outlet uh, right above you there. A lot of crawl spaces have sump pumps. A lot of basements have sump pumps built into the ground, but sump pumps are very important to pumping out the moisture, especially if you're like in a low area. Doing moisture readings is important. This is something that I do in a lot of my crawl space services. I think it's just a good way to show the customer like I care about their crawl space. I'm showing them the moisture readings are. So for example, you change the wood type here, shove it into a floor joist and press hold so you can see the reading. 19.3, The <laughs> that's that's high -er. Uh The normal standard is 20% uh, percent moisture. If the, if the wood is reading higher than 20% moisture, then we say that you need to act pretty much immediately. All the stuff we've talked about is not like, that's just from poor ventilation. Sometimes you actually have a leak, like a pipe is leaking or the siding in your house has a hole in it and the rain or the pipe from a toilet or something is actually leaking into the house. And that's when you can get really bad moisture damage. The wood just like crumbles apart. It's really important as a pest control professional to be able to identify properly the differences between moisture damage and termite damage. Once or twice a month, honestly, I'll find a leak inside someone's crawl space. Please destroy the like button. It would help me out a ton. And subscribe if you want to learn more about crawl spaces, pest control, bugs, pest control business, stuff like that. Uh, I'm also looking at insulation. This crawl space does not have any insulation. I don't personally recommend crawl spaces have insulation. If you have a solid brick, block, concrete foundation around the outside perimeter, you don't need more insulation. A crawl space is always, whether it's in the winter, it's always warmer than outside. It's like a cave, you know, it stays like between 50 and 60 degrees. Um, and in the summer, it's cooler. So I don't think you need insulation in a crawl space. Insulation like soaks up moisture. It falls down a lot. Mice love getting in there. They'll nest in there and like bring all their sticks and, and seeds and nuts and the insulation will just fall down to the ground. Sometimes there's spray foam insulation around the outside perimeter when, when companies encapsulate, totally encapsulate crawl spaces. That's not something I recommend um, as a pest control professional encapsulation while it is good at like sealing off the crawl space, that's not the point of a crawl space. It's not supposed to be sealed off. It's supposed to be like a living, breathing, like part of your house. All those things that I just listed, the termite treatments, the mice treatments, the spider treatments, the mold sprays, the vapor barrier, that is stuff that I love as a pest control professional. I think we have a very important job. A lot of times I'm the only one that's in someone's crawl space every year. So uh, I always upsell crawl space work and I always send my invoices and bids to my current customers through BrioStack. They have a bidding system where you can send proposals to your customers and it works super, super well. Like for example, if I'm bidding a house for termites, I'll just measure the exterior perimeter, tell them I'm going to use Taurus SC. So finally, what you're probably been waiting for is I'm going to give you my personal recommendations on what to do to maintain a healthy crawl space. Um, this is as a pest control professional. This is as just a homeowner as well. This is what I do to maintain a crawl space. First, you want to get it inspected at least once a year. Don't just like assume everything's fine. I mean, I go under my house when I lived in a house with a crawl space, I went under that house uh, multiple times a year. So get your crawl space inspected by a professional or, or do it yourself very thoroughly at least once a year. When you're inside a crawl space and you're doing the inspections, always bring a flashlight. Got a flashlight right here. Flashlight, a crawl suit, a respirator, gloves, and a moisture reader. All of those things I just mentioned are important to protecting yourself and doing a proper crawl space inspection. All that can be found on my Amazon storefront. So just check out my Amazon storefront. I listed all the products that I, I wear and use when I'm doing a crawl space inspection. And next, after you do the inspection, 
don't just be like, well, I found termites or I found mice or I found mold. I'm not going to worry about it. Do something about it. This is very important to maintaining the health of your house. Uh, financially, your house is very important. Make sure you're taking care of your house financially. The longer you wait, the worse things get. Oh, and it's also important to maintain the health of your crawl space for your own personal health. No matter how new your house is, some of the air particles in the crawl space, I don't love doing this video in this crawl space, but I'm doing it for you. There's just so much, so many mold spores, so much dust, so many fungus spores that inevitably some of them are going to get into your house. So it's important for your health, your personal health, and it's important for the health of your house. So those are two reasons why you need to do things in your crawl space and not just forget about it. The last thing I touched on this just a second ago, I wanted to talk about encapsulations. There are a lot of benefits and downsides of encapsulations. I normally don't recommend encapsulations. Uh, just a few opinions of mine that I've learned over the years, but they can be uh, beneficial. That's the end of today's video. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Dan the bug man inside this person's crawl space, and I will see you again very, very soon. And there are so many different kinds of crawl space entrances, whether it's like a cellar or sometimes a crawl space entrance is in the basement or there's a door like on the side of the foundation. But this one is uh, <laughs> my least favorite because this thing is so, so heavy. Um, but yeah, that's just a classic like hole in the ground entrance into the crawl space and then this big heavy thing with shingles on there. So off to the next crawl space. Thanks for watching. Bye.